Okay, these escape room videos are getting out of hand. They're so stupid. Why do you guys make me watch these? They're literally making me dumber than school did. I cannot get through like five seconds of one of these videos without wanting to get up from my computer and defenestrate myself into a cactus patch. Come on, please, please kill me already. If I die, I don't have to watch another one of those stupid- Oh, uh, it's a cactus person thing. What are you doing in my cactus patch? Um, wait a minute. I think I know you. This is Cameron, or Kamern. He's one of those YouTubers who escapes terribly made bedrock prisons. Now, like most prison YouTubers, he's not a bad person. Uh, probably, but the escape rooms in his videos, I just, I don't understand. How are all escape room videos so bad? Ah, oh, I can't explain it to you without showing you. Come here, come here, watch this video. Come on, no, 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 I don't care if you want to keep your sanity. Watch the fu- I escaped the hardest Minecraft prison ever. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but I didn't make it. So they sent me the server IP, and when I joined into the server- Ah, yes, when I first joined the server with five experience points- with a chest to my left and a stone block up here with a piston connected to it. Okay, this isn't the worst start ever. It's a little bit claustrophobic, but we can work with this. What do we have? We've got a chest, a trap door, a piston, and a stone block blocking us from escaping. Now, I'm gonna pretend I couldn't escape this in 10 seconds. We'll just assume the stone's indestructible. In the chest, we have oak planks and string. Those are completely useless. And oh, we have this trap door. I'll just take this and there we go. Not that hard. And open the trap door. Sure enough, there's another chest with a lever, so I grabbed that as well. And then I placed the lever on the piston. Oh, no, never mind. There was just a lever. Now I dropped down here. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get back up, but I risked it. All right, time to move on to the next room. Oh no, I fell down a two block cliff. How, how am I ever gonna get, how am I ever gonna get back up that cliff? I, I, I don't have any blocks. No, 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 there's, there's no way for me to get back. Okay, but for real, if you're scared that you can't get back up into this room, then bring the block- And off to the right, there was a line of lava, which I could not pass through without dying. There was another line of lava with a dispenser on one end and a pressure plate. And I couldn't throw an item to reach the pressure plate. And I tried my best to reach it and I activated it. It shot me and it gave me fire resistance. I crossed it and opened the chest and the chest contained a water bucket. Not sure why I needed that, but maybe it'll come in handy, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, what are you gonna do with a water bucket? Block off all the lava? No. Use it to get back into the impossible two block room from before? No. Use the bucket to remove all the lava and the rest of the map? No. Use it to get into the room with the one dispenser? And use this tunnel to literally escape the entire map because the map creator didn't think you could get this far? No. Use all the lava on the map to build a nether portal because yes, there's literally enough lava for this. And then take the nether portal to literal hell where you belong. So I walked back to the other room and I was still not sure what to do about this room. I'm just going in F5 to try to see what I can find. And sure enough, there's a space under the lava. So I just risk it all and I just jump down there. And sure enough, I survive at a couple hearts. And this is where I figure out why I need the water bucket. And then I fall down this hole, and surprisingly enough, I actually land the clutch. Oh right, why else would Mojang add a water bucket to Minecraft but to MLG? And then I get down here and it says, choose one. At this moment, I use the exact radius of these three squares to- No, I'm just kidding, I did eeny meeny miny mo. And I eventually decide on this one, so I just hop down here. Okay, look. I already told you you could block off the lava with the chests. Screw the chests. I told you you could pick it up with the bucket. Forget the bucket. And the trapdoor? Nah. There's a sign right in front of you! Cameron, please. Please, it's... It's... But Canadian, shouldn't he have checked all three? Yes, he should have, because it turns out in the third one, there's a hidden hopper with all of my escape kits, including this brand new wither drill one, available now at my Discord server. And then there's another chest in here, and there was an ender pearl and a couple blocks. And the only logical thing was to pearl up out of this huge hole that they put. And I survived that on one heart, and I almost fell back through, which would have sucked.
and then up here I was still in bedrock and the only options were to pearl out or to use the water. I decided that the water was safer because pearl would kill me. And once I escaped, I decided to pearl and kill myself. What? But I decided that the water was safer because pearl would kill me. Then why did- I literally completed the hardest Minecraft prison ever, and when I joined into the map, I was in a huge bedrock room, and all I could really see was some lava, there was an opening in one wall with a block missing above it, there was another opening under it. <laughs> what the f- what, the, what is this room? It's like the map creator was just like, hmm, this room is too dark, and I don't know what Fulbright is. Maybe I should add glowstone, let's just break some holes in the wall of my prison and put it there. Should I at least add bedrock behind the glowstone? Ah, no, it's too much work, I'm sure he won't notice. You know, this still isn't lit enough. Let's add torches too. Gotta light up the ceiling, light up the glowstone, light up the other torches, light up the lava, you know, just everything you couldn't already see before. But when I went into F5, I actually saw something under the platform, and in the chest was actually a potion of regeneration and a totem of undying. But I went to investigate this lava, and I went in F5 so I could try to look behind it, and sure enough, there was some water behind it. So I wasn't really sure what to do, so I just put in the totem of undying, I splashed myself with the potion and I just dove straight into lava. All right, I'm ready. Uh, wait, hmm. You know what? Actually, before I go in here, I'm gonna check the other room, see if there's something useful. Maybe there's something I'm missing and this isn't the intended solution. Okay, so we have a bit of parkour here all right this is all good and oh oh there's an ender pearl in this hopper yeah yeah i'm glad i checked this room first uh, my totem popped which gave me fire protection and then in this other room i wasn't really sure what it was for but there were four item frames with a water glass netherwort magma cream and blaze powder with a brewing stand now this this is how you know this is the hardest Minecraft prison ever. I literally completed the hardest Minecraft prison ever. I dare you to try and explain how to solve this puzzle. You physically can't. Even the smartest Minecraft wiki no-lifers don't know how to solve this puzzle. The way that all of these elements interact, it's just too complicated for one person to figure out. Not a single soul- Yeah, so basically what these escape rooms are is go into a room, get all the things you need to get into the next room, and in the next room you're given all the things you need to get into the room after that, and so on, and so on. That's the whole puzzle. And I'd be fine with this if you weren't calling it the hardest Minecraft prison ever made. And up here was pretty much just one item frame with a water bucket. I was a little bit let down because I went through all that work just to get here for a water bucket, but... Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. sorry you got a literal water bucket. I'm not even going to mention the fact that you can now literally escape through any of the 50 different holes in the map. No, I'm not even going to mention it because I've been educated. I now know that the only purpose of the water bucket is to MLG. Woo! So really the only place I'd go was into this other tunnel, which turned out to lead into a staircase. And when I got to the top of that, I got really annoyed with the fire all around me, so I got rid of that. Oh yeah, make sure to place the water on the lower step. You wouldn't want to accidentally pour it into the lava. That might ruin the puzzle. And I did the parkour, and then there was a hole straight above me. So I went over the hopper, and in the hopper was an ender pearl. And I figured that was meant to be used in the hole, so I just threw it straight up there without really thinking. and it turned out to be a tunnel. And when I walked through the tunnel, I ended up in the big main room again, but I was in the top tunnel now. I realized that I needed to use the water bucket to get up there, and I almost fell out. Wait, so the whole point of that puzzle was to pearl into this hole right here, which leads back into the room you were in before, just so you can go into this room and use the water bucket to climb up a wall? What was the point of the parkour? Why didn't you just do that from down here? That entire room with the parkour is completely useless, what? It looked like I was gonna have to try to water climb all the way down there and I really didn't think about it I kind of just jumped and went for it and yeah I actually didn't die Today, I escaped the hardest Minecraft prison, and it might not look like much, but I didn't make it. So I spawned into the world that my friend sent me, and there was the prison. I decided to just go straight into the challenge, and there was a big button that said press, so I pressed it. Cameron, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to put that part in the video. And then on the wall, there were rules. They said no deaths, you can break any breakable block, no outside help, and empty inventory. And then I realized these were trap doors, so I could literally just open them, and sure enough, there was a barrel. And in the barrel was a carrot on a stick, so I got onto the pig and I rode him down.
And in this room, there was a door, a crafting table, and a couple mushrooms. And then over here was a crafting table, which I could reach, but I really had no use for. But here came the first problem. So I had an arrow of fire resistance and I had a bow, so I could shoot straight up. But instead, I decided to just click around in the lava. And it turns out there's actually a chest with a spruce boat in there. And now, I knew what I had to do. And then in this room, there was a tower of lava, and there was a target. And then I walked over here, and I thought I escaped for a second, but there were actually barriers blocking, so I couldn't get out. And that's literally all that was in this room. And then I realized I had a throwable object, which was the egg, so I aimed the target, threw it. And then a hidden dispenser actually gave me an ender pearl, so that was pretty good. Do I really have to say it? So I did this parkour, which I quickly realized was impossible, and then I had an idea. I took as many ladders as I could, and I placed them along the wall. And then I did some parkour of my own, and got to the second one, and then the third one. Okay, you were smart enough to use the ladders instead of doing the impossible parkour. But not quite smart enough to just skip the parkour altogether and just go straight to the room. And then I remembered a glitch that I found a while back, where if you place a ladder, then you can actually ender pearl up through the ladder. And I only had one chance to do this, so I really didn't want to mess it up. So I basically just went for it, and I threw the ender pearl, and I glitched straight out of the prison. And he actually did do it first try, you know? He just had to cut the footage first, and then um, gain a hunger bar without eating anything, and then lose half a heart out of nowhere, and rearrange his inventory, and then place an extra ladder off screen. But yeah, he really did do it first try. Ah, whatever, I don't care. I don't have to deal with them anymore. That was his last escape room, right? No! He has seven more on his channel! Guys, please, don't make me watch the rest of the escape room videos. I could barely make it through the first three. I, I, I need a nap. I'm, I'm gonna go. Have a good day, everyone. See ya.